Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are going to discuss about relativity of time in the Quran. First of all, I would like to mention that Quran is a book of signs. It's a book of ayats which lead you towards God. It is not a book of signs, S-C-I-E-N-C-E, -E, which gives you scientific equations or other things but apart from that there are many scientific facts which are mentioned in the Quran and there are many uh, sciences uh, the different subjects of science the basis of which has been given in different ayats in the bif different uh, s science of the Quran that is S I G N S the ayat of the Quran which I have discussed in a previous video sciences in the Quran so Quran has scientific facts also and it, it gives basis for different subjects medicine astronomy and so on and on the time is not absolute time is relative Einstein said that when a man is with a pretty girl one hour feels like a minute and when a man sits on a hot oven even one minute feels like an hour so time is relative the perception is different in both the cases for time so time is a perceived notion so time is psychological perception it is relative the instance of Quran does not give any equation like E is equal to MC square and like that but it gives certain ideas about the relativity of time Quran says in Surah Isra, Surah number 17, Ayat number 52, Allah says, يَوْمَ يَلْعُوكُمْ فَتَسْتَجِيبُونَ بِحَمْدِ The day He will call you and you will answer His call by the words of His praise. وَتُظُنُّونَ إِلَّا بِسْتُمْ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا And you will think that you tarried but for a little while. In other words, it says, يَوْمًا أَوْ بَعْنَ يَوْمٍ For a day or for a part of a day. When Allah will ask them ke for how much time you remained on earth, they will say that we, we stayed there for a little while or just for an hour or just for a day or part of a day. So that is different perception. So they will feel like the whole 70 years average life of a person here on earth, they will feel like that it was just like an hour or like a day. So that is different perceived uh, uh, time which is mentioned in the Quran. Further, Quran says in Surah Sajda, Surah number 32, Ayat number 5, Allah says, Yudabbilul Amr, Mina Sama ilal Ard, that He manages all affairs from the heavens to the earth. Summa Yaruju ilayhi, Fi Yomin Kana Mikdaru, Alpha Sanati Mimata Uddun, that then it ascend unto Him in, uh, in a time period which is like a uh, thousand years of your reckoning. So Allah says, in a day like thousand years of your reckoning. So again, that relativeness of time is mentioned here. Further, Quran says in Surah Ma'arij, Ta'rujul malaikatu warruhu ilayhi fi yawmin kana miqtaruhu khamseen alfasana That the angels and the spirit ascend unto him in a day, the period of which is 50,000 years. So again, a day equivalent to a 50,000 years. So here, a different reference of time is again mentioned. The relativeness of time is again mentioned. So Quran has many ayats which uh, talks about different perception of time, how time is perceived differently. So time is a psychological perception for which Einstein proved it through the theory of relativity that time is not absolute, it is relative according to each uh, person's reference. So, the Quran gives idea about the relativity of time. Further, I would like to mention about uh, one more example which Quran gives about the uh, people of the cave. I will not go into detail about the interpretation about the ashab Kahf because it has many different interpretation. So, it is a story in the Quran, a mystic story. So, uh, the the ashab kahf they retreated in a cave and Allah caused them to sleep and when they stood up they slept for a uh, for them it was only a day but for the others where they took shelter in the cave for the cave where they were there that was only one night where they stayed 
बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट फॉर देम टाइम गॉट फ्रोजन लाइक ओनली वन डे बट फॉर अदर्स द द वर्ल्ड टेरीड अबाउट थ्री हंड्रेड एंड नाइन ईयर्स विच कुरान से सलासा मतिन सनीन वजदादु तसा दैट इज़ थ्री हंड्रेड ईयर्स एंड सम एड टू एट नाइन सो थ्री हंड्रेड एंड नाइन ईयर्स हैज़ पास बट फॉर देम इट वॉज ओनली वन नाइट सो द असहाब कहफ द पीपल ऑफ द केव दे रिमेंड इन द केव फॉर वन नाइट ओनली बट एक्चुअली थ्री हंड्रेड नाइन ईयर्स पास बट फॉर देम इट वॉज ओनली अ सिंगल नाइट सो अगेन देर इट मीन्स दे लैंडड इन फ्यूचर सो दे ट्रेवल्ड फ्यूचर सो देर इज future travel which is mentioned in the quran actually so for them time freezed so only one night passed for them but in actual 309 years had passed so so that is again another reference which quran makes about the ashab e kahf the people of the kahf there are many different uh, interpretation which can be taken from the ashab e kahf but i am not discussing that now i am just giving a re- reference about the Uh, about the relativity of time so further if you look at the distances in the universe even the closest galaxy if we could go uh, which is canis major it if we travel by the speed of light even then it will take about 25000 years or more for us to reach to the nearest galaxy which is the nearest galaxy to us and there are billions and billions of galaxies so there are so vast distances that our time period our reference of time period is very small for that that's why we count it into light years that the distance traveled by light in so many years so if we travel that is 3 lakh kilometer per second if we travel with the speed of light then even then it will take 25000 years to reach to the nearest galaxy and we don't have even such an space craft that we can uh, that we can embark into that and we can reach about like 25 even in 25000 years into the uh, nearest galaxy our life is only about average is 70 years human being life so how can we uh, how can we make such huge journey of such huge uh, distances so our time frame from which we look into it is like very short span like 70 years is our average life and the distances in universe are so vast that we cannot now comprehend uh, yet now yet as of now we cannot com- comprehend how we can uh, travel such long distances so time is relative and even if you look through the vastness of the universe we feel like our life is very short so small it is quran says in surah ghafir surah number 40 ayat number 57 la khalqus samawati wal ard akbaru min khalqin nas that the creation of the heavens and the earth is of a greater matter than the creation of men well again aksar nas la ya'lamun but most of men do not know so the when we look into the universe our time frame looks very small the human history may uh, date back to like 200 uh, 1000 years or to maybe 10 lakh uh, years so but if you look into the distances which are so vast even if we want to travel from one pl- place to another in the universe our life is very short for that very small for that so that's how quran has made the references about time and space there are many scientific facts in the quran which i will inshallah make more videos about that later but quran does not give you equations about the theories quran does not give you any equations but it does give you ideas about uh, the sciences and even many scientific facts are mentioned in the quran which inshallah will make more videos about that but today we talked about the relativity of time so relativity of time has been mentioned in the quran and that to for the idea of which has been mentioned in the quran 1400 years ago so that is a great thing that which testifies that this book is from the source of god of allah the one god so 
uh, we should learn and try to comprehend the book of God. Allah says, "Afala yatadabbaroon al-Quran am ala qulubin aqfaluha." Do they not uh, try to understand the Quran? Do they not comprehend the Quran, or do they have locked up their hearts? So we must try to understand Quran better, and we must publish or preach it to others so that we can benefit here and in the hereafter. وَمَا عَلَيْنَا إِلَّا الْبَلَاغُ